So I thought I'd give you my first impressions of this new survival horror game, Betrayer. So let's get started. So the year's 1604, we've just travelled from England to the coast of Virginia to meet up with a struggling colony here, which we're going to go and find out in a second. But I thought I'd just sort of explain why this game is in black and white. I'm not just fucking with you here, with video editing. It is actually in black, white and red this game. I personally found that after about three or four minutes it kind of added to the atmosphere rather than being something which was annoying. But I guess if you watch this video for three or four minutes you'll probably get used to it. So bear it out because this is actually quite an interesting horror game I think from what I've heard. So I'm just going to loot this stuff on the beach here, tell you a bit about the backstory to the game. It seems the important stuff is you can break these boxes and then get out. Those barrels apparently don't break but they must be from that shipwreck across there. And I think we've got to head up through the forest to get to the colony. Now, this seems to be the only way up here. But it's very standard first-person shooter controls in this game, so you'll get into it straight away. And I say that you should get past the black and white, because this game is actually made by the developers of Fear. They set up a new studio called Black Powder Games, and they're the guys who've made this. So this game comes from good breeding background, so to speak. Like a mature racehorse in the horror-adventure game genre. But apparently it's an open world. I think this is just sort of the uh, the tutorial bit here. As obviously I can't really spread out into the forest of this bit. But I think once we get through here then we can sort of spread out and search for... There's actually a uh, lady in red up there. Oh, she's leaving me. I feel like I'm playing Schindler's List. Looks like this arrow's got a note on it. I hope that I may trust you but I cannot take any chances. Know that the Spanish fleet did not intercept your ship by mere chance. You'll find more enemies than friends here, and more questions than answers. It's foreboding. As is that crow. It's definitely more atm atmospheric being in this forest when it's so black and shadowy as it is right now. We'll have to see. I don't want to get lost in here. So I'm not going to leave this path. Ooh, Red Riding has left me another one. You will need a weapon. The bow shall serve until you can find better. Recover your arrows. The Spaniards are now more beasts than men. Their rage makes them stronger. And apparently arrows can sometimes deflect, so... i got to keep my, bar my, my dagger ready. Oh, there must be one ahead. That does not sound like a, a human conquistador. Or there's definitely something wrong with this guy. He's wearing armor. Oh dear. Oh, I took him out. So maybe the arrows then deflate off his armor. I don't think they did that time. Perhaps I've got to get the drop on them. But he was growling like a... Like a wild animal. So there's a... Uh, there's something further up here. Looks like we've loaded into a clearing here. Nothing in that one. Left the forest behind us. But the point of this game is to... There's another one of these... There's some creepy wind. That arrow deflected. Oh crap, that one did as well. Well, it seems that the dagger takes him out pretty quickly. So as you saw there, when I shot at him, the arrows, they didn't actually penetrate his armor. They sort of flicked off and above. In fact, there's another one right up there. But as I was saying, the point of this game is to... is to find out what catastrophe has, has caused all of this. They take a lot of arrows, these ones you've alerted them. It looks like there's something of a fort of here, but supposedly you can explore the world and and sort of put together the clues. I don't know quite how that works yet, but we'll find out. So this was a British fort. Up here. Hello? Oh, 
Well, I don't know who opened that door up, but... Dear sir or madam, I've come into the possession of a number of fine items. I'll put my trust in your honour to leave payment. Not a smart guy, this John Howe, the merchant. Ah, so this must be a kind of shop, then, where I can get more stuff. is not like I can really buy much now, apart from arrows, and I've got quite a lot there. Oh dear, somebody attacked us. Must have been sentries upon these posts. Oh, what is that? It's like a wood figure. I would imagine that was probably once a human. And that's how I get more health back. There's another one here. I wonder what attack this for. It doesn't seem very destroyed. You'd have thought it would be on fire, burn to the ground a bit if it was attacked by the Spaniards. And I can place a bell up there as well. From the journal of Barnaby Burden. The savage king was pleased by our gifts of tools and trinkets, served by his daughter, Amanut, a most inquisitive and lovely girl. Oh, I bet he tried to hit that, and that pissed off the Indians. I bet that's who they're talking about. So it looks like the, the English here were trying to defend themselves against both the the Spaniards and the and the tribes. Oh, there is an inventory. Charm of the Musketeer. So they must be kind of like perk things. And these are all the clues I get. So basically you piece together the clues as you explore the land and then you figure out what happened here and what what changed all these, these Spanish soldiers who were left outside the fort and what turned all these people to ash. But because the game is in, in early access still well, I found the bell. I think that was a hint there. I'll go and put that on the thing in a second. Yeah, something must have swept through here and just wiped out all those guys. There was a graveyard back out there. I can't see any more red. As that seems to be the... Oh. Oh, is this? Who is alive? Stay back! Man or a fiend of you, I mean you no harm! Then ask and haul me no further. He's made to pay for his sins. They're all lost in the darkness, their voices carried on the wind. I should heed your advice. Oh. Oh, this ghost is still here. Oh, can you hear that? That whisper's actually directional. It was stronger if I was pointing this way. Can you hear that? It's like it's coming from different places around the wilderness. It's definitely something up this way. This was the graveyard. And those who died at the fort. But I think I'll leave the video here because, as I say, it does come out shortly. Early access on Steam, so I don't want to spoil the story for you. If you, you know, if you want to get the game and figure it out for yourselves. I'll put a link in the description when it does actually come out on there so you can get to it quite easily. But thanks for watching guys. Please tell me what you think about this game generally in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think about this kind of black and white style and stuff. But on that note, I'll see you guys in the next chapter.